Hello, I'm Dr. Jeff Kingsley, and this is another edition of Riding in Cars with Researchers. We are completing our current discussion on balanced scorecards. Remember, a balanced scorecard is that sweet spot between all of the needs of your customers and the health of your company. So I'm speaking to research sites in particular on what should be included in your balanced scorecard. And I think fundamentally, what our customers want of sites is what I've referred to as EQTCS, enrollment, quality, timelines, and customer service. Today we're talking about customer service. Now obviously, in any business, customer service matters. But the reality is, most companies don't measure it. Most companies go on the assumption that their customer service is good, if not great. But the reality is, that's not always the case. There's a famous quote that 50% of the companies you know, I'm paraphrasing, 50% of the companies you know are below average, which statistically is totally accurate. You need to measure this. You need to measure customer service. It's, it will enable you then to implement process improvement to enhance your customer service. What's the best way to measure customer service? There are plenty of complicated ways to do it. There are uh, complicated surveys. There are companies you can hire to assist you with doing it. There's also a very simple way. It's called the NPS, Net Promoter Score. It's very well adopted in the technology space. And surprisingly, I meet very few people who've ever heard of the Net Promoter Score. Two thirds of Fortune 1000 companies use the NPS. It's one question, one very simple question. How likely are you to recommend my company or my service to a friend or colleague? That's it, one question. It takes a solid 30 seconds for someone to fill out. You can ask this of your clinical research associates, your CRAs that are visiting your site. You can ask this of your patients. You can ask this of your team members and your physicians. You can ask this of the project managers on the research trials you're conducting. One question, zero to 10, how likely are you to recommend my company to a friend or colleague? Here's how the score is calculated. Nines and tens are your promoters. Those are people who really genuinely would recommend you to somebody else. Nines and tens, genuine promoters. Sevens and eights are passives. They don't dislike you, but they're not raving about you either. They're passives, they're not bad, they're passives. Zero through six are your detractors. Anyone who gives you a zero through six on that question would likely say something negative about you to a friend or colleague. So the net promoter score is the percent of nines and tens, your promoters, the percent of nines and tens. So it's the number of nines and tens over the total number of respondents. Percent promoters over the percent of detractors. You end up with a scale of negative 100 to positive 100. Generally speaking, anything over zero, any positive number on that calculation is deemed good. And if you can get a score above 50, that's deemed excellent. Very simple way for you to start measuring customer satisfaction. Customer satisfaction is immensely important. And yet it's something that we seldom measure well. By making it very simple, you will get more respondents. By getting more respondents, you're getting more accuracy, but you're also engaging your customers in a dialogue. You're helping your customers understand that you genuinely care about their satisfaction, and you're willing to invest time and effort in enhancing their satisfaction. Super important aspect of your balanced scorecard. Customer service. Measure it, NPS is a great way, and then use that measurement to start implementing process improvement to further enhance what you're providing to your customers. Thank you very much. Follow us on social media, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, and as always, thanks for riding along. Take care.